Right, hello everybody, welcome to... Oh wow, throw a rock, cancelled by my stadium. Uh, welcome to week number 8 of Rebel. Uh, this is a replay because at the time my microphone was rubbish and I didn't realise how bad my microphone was when I recorded games 8, 9 and 10. So I'm having to come back to them as replays. Um, I chose to kick against Kedji Roos here because he had the wizard and uh, you know he's got he's got two good wolves. So it's a bit it's a bit rubbish kicking to a claw pommer, but the fact he's got the frenzy does limit him a bit, doesn't it? So, uh, but you know he's got a really good team. He was unbeaten at this point, Kedji Roos. Obviously, I had hundred percent record. Uh, he got two babes, two bribes. Uh, I'm not sure about the two bribes, to be honest. I expected him to get Cheney, and he didn't get Cheney. He got uh, two bribes and a babe, and I think I think he probably should have got Cheney. Um, I was very, very surprised he didn't get Cheney. Oh, he's got Dauntless. Dauntless claw bomb. Jeebus. But doesn't risk the foul. Doesn't risk the, uh, the pile on. <laughs> yeah, not for you know, I mean it is fully optimized without without Crusher, isn't it? Really, Crusher, Crusher sometimes roars. These guys don't roar. They just claw on every turn. <laughs> this is this is bugged out somewhat, hasn't it? Can't get rid of but you know his team's pretty scary because he's got loads of players. He's got dirty players. Um, he's got bribes as well, so he's not he's he's going to foul pretty much every single turn. So like. It's not that the bribes were terrible, do you know what I mean? I just think Cheney would be better. So I'm trying to hit the hit the dirty players that he's got. And you know, it's not just it's not just out of pixel hugging, like obviously if he removes a bunch of players, it um it helps his chances to win the game, isn't it? So like people people uh people can whine about, you know, people uh pixel hugging sometimes, but at the end of the day it helps you in that specific match as well, doesn't it? You know, you don't want to lose key pieces for the game, do you? Obviously, permanently, you don't lose them. But you don't lose them for the game either, so... Yeah. And then, obviously, got the extra... Pushed him into an extra block. And then walled him off against these guys to make it so that he can't really stand him up without getting clawed. Yeah, I mean it is incest aside, it is, but it's not just that, it is also for the, you know, you need them for the game as well, don't you, you know? You'd be pretty dumb to just put your claw pommer on the LOS to get, <laughs> to get claw pommed and fouled, wouldn't you? Like, even if, even if it was res, that would still be a stupid play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, players, players, players are alive, pieces are not, pieces are, chess pieces or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I would like pack together to try and you know cause him some concerns with the uh, with the frenzy. He does pile there, which is a bit. It's just a bold pile. He's piled adjacent to a dirty player with uh, not a lot of support. And I thought that was a very bold pile on. Some would say bold, some would say terrible. I prefer bold. <laughs> <coughs> no, maybe it was a terrible pilot. He probably should have done the dodge away. You know, he could have he could have dodged it. I don't know how much movement he had, but he probably should have dodged away and got got safe. Because even if he'd failed the dodge away, at least he's not next to the uh, dirty player, right? So as you can see, we're making quite a good foul here, especially if we get the, the knockdown here. Because there's an extra assist with this knockdown. Yep. So one, two, three, four assists and dirty player. Surely I'm going to go back up here. Yep, base both of them. That's pretty good. Uh, 
and it's a glorious Kaz. Badly hurt. And uh, he regened. So isn't that sad? Because that regen there, now obviously I was lucky to get the Kaz on him. Um, <laughs> from a four assist foul with Dirty Player. But god damn that regen. I mean that is huge because you know obviously the main thing is not having players die. <laughs> At this point I'm 7-0 so almost certainly going to win the league anyway. So I really wanted the, <laughs> I really wanted the claw pom to stay out. And he just takes the score. And you know that's what a lot of people have to do against my team because my team is so good. Like that you know you've pretty much got to take the score when you can. <laughs> because if you try to stall, you're probably not going to score at all. <laughs> so he gets the tuddy. And it's set up for a 2 1 grind. It also gets his wolf back, yeah. The only thing is, of course, he does have the wizard. Um, he does have the wizard still. But. I've got six turns to score and then eight turns to score. So it is set up for a 2-1 grind. With the only wrinkle being, um, obviously, can he defend? And uh, he does have the wizard. So. And, you know, they're, they're, they really are a tricky team, Necro, because they can hit you back with a claw of their own. They've got loads of players, so you're unlikely to just completely decimate them. And... Uh, yeah, you don't really want to like pile on crappy zombies that regen anyway. <laughs> you don't want to regen, so you don't want to pile on so much because they foul you with dirty player. But obviously, you really want to foul the good players. He was down a uh, flesh golem first game, which was helpful. But I mean, this is this is looking pretty good for me, isn't it? Really, a three-turn score. The, really, the big thing is the wizard. <laughs> And catching the ball on a claw pommer <laughs> isn't <laughs> isn't really ideal. To make these three Ds. Protected. And he's just gonna hand off. <laughs> I don't want the ball on a movement for <laughs> piling on warrior. <laughs> he was, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he named him Jimmy, yeah, in all caps as well. <laughs> there was someone else that he got for the game. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy all caps. <laughs> or maybe he killed somebody. I don't know. Right, so I failed the two plus handoff. But never mind. He just passed his turn there. <laughs> um, which is fair enough. Like, you know, I'd, I'd kind of put my guys together so it wasn't easy for him to get a good hit. Three D Blitz is all right, isn't it? I'm surprised he stood firm, honestly, um, because that means he's just going to get knocked down again next turn if he stands up. There's a bit of herb dirt base base basing here. Probably not very good to have my claw pommers on rubbish zombies when I want to use them to hit wolves, but never mind. Hand off to the rookie for the uh, for the wizard, and then he goes for the massive fireball here. Like I did want to bait it a bit. Probably should have been one square back with him. <coughs> he got two KOs, but didn't get the ball down. And this strength, this strength four staying up makes it actually pretty hard for him to get a hit on the ball in the end, doesn't it? Ooh, the uh, 
Oh, he just gets a 1D. And he gets the power. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that I was giving up the 1D on the ball. But uh, that's all right. He still kind of wasted the wizard, I think. Because he would have had that 1D hit anyway, wouldn't he? <laughs> so, yeah, managed to kind of... Yeah, kind of managed to bit out the wizard. Yeah, I don't think it was a great decision. Like, even though he got a great result getting two KOs from it. Uh, and and I did have to give up a 1D on the ball anyway to facilitate it. <laughs> um, should I have gone for the... I probably shouldn't have gone for the scatter there. But <laughs> I got the perfect scatter. <laughs> Unbelievable scatter there. That's disgusting. <laughs> and then a and then a removal of my own. That was <laughs> what a scatter. I probably shouldn't have scattered it. There was only one tackle zone. I could have maybe made a block there. He could have two deed him. It was hard though. Oh no, he could have gone in. Could have got a one D to clear it. That would have been better than relying on a scatter. <laughs> Cheeky little GFI there. 1D pow. And then it's actually a pretty good position now, isn't it? With three turns left. Still got four rerolls. <laughs> he could knock him down and create a path through here. So he could have hit the ball. Um, but he would have had to essentially one dice this guy, so it wouldn't need Oh, and he's had guard, so he'd have had uphills and all. You couldn't really have got a one day on the ball. That so at this point, you've got a pile on. And a Kaz. Gymcon 2019 is dead. <laughs> really, with a, mind, with a severe concussion. <laughs> but uh, we've got three... Four, five, six players standing. Um, <laughs> it's not great, is it? <laughs> Another kill. <laughs> so, I've got seven men on the pitch and six of them standing. Yeah. And he's got four, five, six, seven. Seven standing and nine on the pitch. So, you know, this is pretty... It's pretty... Pretty bad luck, I think, for my team, right? This is pretty bad luck. All these cars, the cars, all the chaos, and uh, he region. That was the big, map, the biggest thing. Because he ended up killing a dirty player as well, didn't he, with the guy who region. Some cheeky three pluses, which is a luxury that uh, chaos have with a Go for another foul on the wolf. Got to, got to try the foul on the wolf, I think. He's so good, isn't he? He does have jump up as well, so he's... He's like in danger of getting a hit on the ball and stuff with having him there, isn't it? Oh man, all the dice rolls there. Manages to engineer <laughs> KO. A hit on flat fight here from his killer, which is horrible, horrible for me, isn't it? Um, I got the assist in and the cage in, assisted the foul and made the cage corner, but it does mean that flat fight is hit by a Quinas, who also flat fight has more SPPs then, just quietly. He doesn't get a lot in the way of the ball, does he? I feel like this could have been placed better. Oh, a Kaz. No, flop fart, no. Dead. No, it wasn't dead, it was minus edge. So there you go, that's flop fart, minus agility. And I didn't even apple it because I thought, at the end of the day, flop fart can do his job with agility too, can't he? Um, but that's really annoying, isn't it? Because he shouldn't have fucking regen. <laughs> I know it's 50 50, but he should never have regen. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, if that foul had just stunned him, he wouldn't have been able to make that block. 
from flat foot would have been all right. So pretty sad. Do I just score here? Yeah, because he's only got one turn left anyway. So we'll have the chance of a one turner. Yeah, the thing is, if I use the app on him, right, first of all, it might not work. And second of all, uh, what if somebody dies later, you know? That's the thing, isn't it? At the end of the day, I don't think minus agility is that bad. Uh, hello, Zinge. Uh, it starts at 1700 UTC, so in an, about an hour and a half. So I did the I did the least the least I could do against a, a one turn attempt. I didn't bother trying to defend it, despite the fact that he had um, a movement eight, agility four, dodge sidestep <laughs> to attempt the one turn with, <coughs> and then really unforgivably. <laughs> you know, honestly, Kejiru is he's undefeated in Division One of Rebel and he hasn't even set up to try the one turner. That's that is that is poor, isn't it? I think I think that is poor. I think he should have at least uh you know, movement eight, lodge step, edge four, that is pretty good odds. You've got to you've gotta try that I think. But instead he just kills a guy. <laughs> because of course he does. <laughs> also, um, yeah, he's got the Frenzy Wolf to push him, and so you know it's really, really good odds with the with the, with the movement here. Incredible odds. Sidestep, sidestep makes it a lot easier, and uh, Frenzy also makes it a lot easier. So, also he just hit with that. He hit with that flesh instead of pomming, instead of claw pomming. I don't like that. I think he should have uh, claw pommed for sure there. <laughs> he tries to skill up his zombie. Well, no, he tries to get an extra. So this is looking pretty, pretty bad. I mean, it's still got eleven players, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Not gonna re-roll. Oh, I am gonna re-roll. Glorious. How many beavers do I have now? Nearly seven. Thank you very much, uh, just Joe. <laughs> Nearly seven pregnant beef. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying fantastic. For 27 months. Oh yeah. Glorious. Thank you very much. So now it's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> um, and... Yeah, we've both got 11. Obviously he was always going to have 11 really with so many subs. But then... <laughs> that's how many players I'm down. So, not that it matters now, but still, it's funny that we both had, we both had 15 players. No, I'm, I'm on 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm on 10 players, and he's on 11. So I'm actually starting being outnumbered in the second half, but 1-1. One, one. So I've been, I mean, I've been heavily outmatched, haven't I? I've done nothing. An entire half. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> Nothing to show for it. Um, and he's made three cars. Okay. Not piling on. Because it wasn't a piling on character. <laughs> but anyway, a couple of kills there. So actually, ten versus nine now. And all these, all these reserves he's got aren't making a difference, are they? And the wizard's gone. So I mean, it's 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 still a really good position, obviously, uh, being a man up. And his wizard's gone. And uh, yeah, and it's one one. So like now, it's a in a great spot now for sure. <laughs> 
stratégie à la papa. Un peu téléphoné, mais le résultat est là. Not blitzing with his claw pommer. <coughs> I have, yeah, I have downloaded it. I haven't played it though. Yup, he rolls a one. Doesn't re roll it and gets it done. Glorious. Oh, my throat's going now. My throat's going now. Jim Con has taken its toll. <laughs> He's going to have to be the last replay, I think, for a day. Alright, we can do. Oh. Alright, so I'm just going to three dice. He's guard, so he's worth three dicing, isn't he? With frenzy. Get a pie one. Nothing. <laughs> Great. So, isolate. Oh, well, I moved him back. I isolated him to, to tempt the claw pom hit on him rather than anybody else. Um. I right, see, so trying to get like the people together to make the the wolf blitz less attractive, isn't it? That's the idea. And he does just hit with mighty blow. And makes a cast. <laughs> this is four cards, and it's nine versus nine again. He calls for the negative to assist foul. <laughs> re salty. No, I'm not getting re salty. Just obser it's just observation, isn't it? That's the thing. It's just an observation that it's not it's not going fantastically well. This is nice getting the extra chain in for an extra hit here. And also exposing the wolf to it. Blitz. Potentially. Oh, and the car's glorious. Flatfire couldn't do it, but a random beastman can. Is it worth him, like, double geofine to hit the wolf? Maybe? <laughs> Am I gonna do that? No. <laughs> He's just gonna blitz the dirty player. Oh, but then I get to I get to base the air uh, white. I'm sure I thought about blitzing him with a claw mate. But this is better positionally, isn't it? So what's this eight, eight nine versus eight now. So I've got a one man advantage again. But down in quality, because his removals are just zombies. Whereas mine are flat fart. And uh, some beast man. <laughs> At least he's not blitzing with the core bomb now. I mean, that's the main thing. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I think I'm going to score with eight turns to drive. I expect to score against pretty much anybody. So the main thing is trying to mitigate his uh, four pom blitzes as much as possible. Just all pixel, it's just an exercise in pixel hugging this season. <laughs> That's what it is really. Essentially, last season and this season for me have been exercises in pixel hugging. And uh, Thomas T just rolled some dice against me and absolutely wrecked wrecked the team. That was That was tragic, honestly. Two minus moves against bloody dark elves of all teams. I'm letting this guy, uh, hanging this guy out to dry. I don't like that. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. He could have been here, couldn't he? Hmm. Bad Jim. Oh, 
I like this guy here though, two squares back for if he, if he gets uh, to hit back. Lucky. He fouls him rather than the guy who's going to foul his wolf. Which I think was a mistake. Because <laughs> I don't give a shit if he moves this guy. <laughs> I just want to foul his fucking wolf now, don't I? <laughs> And can hopefully cage up here somehow. No. No, I'm just gonna stay, keep the cage where it is. All right. And then assist with the cage corners. So another three assist, dirty player foul. And this time it's a niggle, niggling injury. But he regens again. Oh, look at dog. And sent off. But I mean, obviously it's good for the it's good for the drive. It's a good swap trade for the drive. But so annoying that he regen twice, and obviously that would have been brutal for him. A niggle. <laughs> Another cast. <laughs> <laughs> Injury box is looking ridiculous. Got so we've got one, two, three, four, five players standing, seven total, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six standing and seven total. So this is blood ball sevens at this point. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Oh, gotta re-roll it. Blitz with claw mighty because I couldn't pile on. Clever. But it's tricky with seven players to defend the ball. The good thing is, obviously, my team is <laughs> mostly strength four. <laughs> so, like, well, we've got equal numbers. My players are, are better than his, aren't they? Predominantly. But only two turns left. It's going to be a little tricky to protect the ball. Oh, unless he just blitzes into a 1D. I think maybe he... Oh, he got it. He made the dodge out. I think he maybe he should have just kept him back here. Eh? Maybe. Maybe blitzed with the uh, flesh goal or something. Oh. Sextus Bones doing a good job there of, of uh, surviving the hits on him. I think this was a big mistake by him dodging the foul there. Because that's given us the 2D and the avenue to push down this side. I think that was a big mistake. In terms of winning the game. <laughs> Now that's uh, that's pretty caged up, isn't it? I didn't hit him because he's got Fen, Fen, but like there wasn't a player there. If there was a player there, I'd have had to 1D him to make this gap. But as it happened, didn't have to. Any skulls? Into a push? Into a red dice? Both down. This is a GFI to score, I think, 3, 6, 7, yeah. I've still got my reroll. I don't think there's a way to chain him. So I just go for the blitz. Three guns. And then GFI. 
Yeah, I'm not going to make the blocks. <laughs> I have to have the reroll for the GFI. No, I won't be playing humans. It'll be Chofs, I think. Ah, it's Chofs or Necro? I'm thinking Chofs. I like Chofs more. I do think Necro are powerful, though. So you go 2 1 grind. He does have <laughs> the one turn chance again, though. But seeing as he uh, displayed no inclination to go for it, like, look at this six players. Six players to stop the one turn. <laughs> so I can't I can't uh, I can't backline at all here I have to put my least valuable of the of the six on the line which is a, which is a strength up beast man my bottle carrier <laughs> block claw mighty blow guard warrior but they are the three worst players right I can't risk the, the two claw pommers I oh, will, sorry, he's called me and call him. Hello, Vulpies. And he even gets a reroll for the one turn. And this time he is settled for it, but then just does a random block instead. So just, uh, you know. Just really bad from Tejiru's in the one turns. I think that's something he has to, uh. He has to work on. 100%. Hopefully he doesn't think I'm being mean because I criticised him. And some people do. Look at that, Sexus Bones is dead. Turn 16. Pointless fucking hit. So thank God I saved the Apo. Eh? So if I'd Apoed Apo that minor Sag, if I'd Apoed that minor Sag on Flat Fart, Sexus Bones would have died. He didn't go either. He had two chances of the one turn. Didn't attempt either either one. And this one was easy because he didn't even have to do any dodges. Because only had six players. So this one was a ridiculously easy one turn this time. Uh, the first half was, you know, he should have gone for it in the first half, I think. But uh, the second half, it, it, you know, yeah, edge four sidestep wolf. Yeah. So I think that's a. That's a hole in his game he should address, really, shouldn't he? That's my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, th this this one for sure. Like, he even had the reroll for it as well. The first one, you know, maybe he doesn't score the first one if he goes for it. But this one was a really easy one turn with me not even be not even being able to back line. <laughs> <laughs> Three players at the back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's I think it's something worth practicing. Though, you know? If you if you especially if you're not comfortable with it, you should you should do it when you've got a movement eight, edge four sidestep wolf. I think that's something you should you should uh, practice for sure. Um, I say, go, Mister Throw got the MVP. So he's two away. Oh well, there you go. That's that's that's, that's good. Vulpes. That's better than most people, I guess. Uh, the turn time in these games is four minutes. Um, so yeah, that's that's great for Mister Throw. He's two away. His um his his wolf was MVP for bloody minus agility. Uh, in giving flat fart minus agility, and thank God the apple saved the uh, dead Sextus bones. So. Uh, it is, yeah. I don't. He didn't even try. Both times he didn't even try. He didn't even think about it. So yeah. So I mean, he, he should probably go away and do it on his own, shouldn't he? And, and so he's got them sorted, known them off by heart. I mean, he was just. I don't know. He, he mustn't. He mustn't know how to do them, right? I I, I don't want to have a go at him, but you know, yeah. If you if you know how to do a one turn, yeah, you you got to go for it there, right? Against six players. There was no back line at all. He had to go for the one turn there. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.